Welcome to World Rowing's Technique for Beginners video presentation. The aim of each sculling stroke is to move the boat as far as possible in the most efficient and effective way to gain and maintain speed. Sculling with good technique leads to maximum speed with minimum effort. The sculling stroke is a long, continuous movement emphasizing length at both ends of the stroke. Good sculling requires a long, smooth stroke and good power application when the blade is in the water and a smooth, horizontal movement of the hands away from the body when the blade is on the feather during the recovery phase. Timing of the entry of the blade into the water and effective extraction of the blade at the finish of the stroke are critical elements to an efficient and effective sculling stroke. During the drive phase, the blade should be completely buried just below the water surface and on the recovery, the blade should travel in a horizontal path above the water surface. The blade should be high enough off the water to ensure that the hands can rise towards the catch as the rower approaches the catch. The catch is when the blades are placed in the water and the boat is driven forwards using the large muscle groups in the legs and body. At the catch, the shins are vertical, the back straight and leaning forward with the body closed up on the thighs. All that is needed is for a small lift of the hands upwards just as the forward motion of the seat is coming to an end and the blades will be fully locked in the water. Effective sculling occurs by using the large muscles of the legs and gluteal muscles to start the stroke. The arms are relaxed and the back still straight and leaning forward. The hands should be parallel to the boat. The feeling should be that of hanging off the blade handles when you push with the legs. Nearing the end of the drive phase, the body swings back and the arms are used to maintain the momentum of the blade handles. The hands make a small tap downwards to lift the blades clear of the water. The legs are flat down. The back is straight but leaning slightly back so that the abdominal muscles feel a slight pull. The blade handles just brush the body when the spoon end is flat on the water. This is the end of the drive phase and the recovery phase begins. To begin the recovery, the hands move down and away from the body. The arms move away while the knees are still held down. The upper body and arms are relaxed good but relaxed posture helps the recovery and with boat balance. The body then rocks over from the pelvis with the back straight and the knees lift, allowing the seat to move. As the athlete approaches the front of the stroke, the body is in the catch position. The body continues to move forward in this position until the shins are vertical and the sequence begins again. Racing at top speed involves the same motions as described previously, but at a faster pace. One of the most important elements of racing is that a good rhythm is maintained to allow the athlete and boat to work together to develop the necessary speed. 